Okay, today I have from Hobby King um, in the UK a Park 450 1200 kV um, brushless motor and an NTM prop drive 1200 kV motor, um, similar ratings. This is maximum 18 amps but runs a 3 or 4 cell. Uh, this is max 18 amps. This is run a 2 or 3 cell. Um, it says it's rated at 175 watts. And this one says it's 250 watts. So let's just unpack them and see what they say and have a look and see what the overall quality is. Um, this one was about $16. Um, the same as this one was also about $16. Now this is a longer can, this is a 2837 um, and as you'll be able to see there it's definitely a longer a longer motor uh, even though the power rating on this isn't as great. Um, the KB is exactly the same um, there's the front view and the rear view. Now the main difference is, well there's two, difference, two differences this one doesn't come with any three and a half mil bullet connectors on. This one does. This one comes with a collet adapter and a mounting plate and the screws that comes with it for sixteen dollars. But no bullet connectors. This one you have to pay extra to have the mounting set, which is an optional extra. You, at least it's got the bullet connectors on there. Um, and this is a machined aluminium set with really nice hex, hex screw bolts to bolt the motor on um, and there's some typical just cross heads there to mount your motor mount um, so I mean that's an additional I think that was two dollars sixty nine something around that um, so in the UK all up this uh, you're looking at no more than about fourteen pounds there um, and this one probably about twelve pounds. So you know, pretty good motors for the price. So the fact that this one doesn't come with them, and you have to pay a little bit extra to have it, I think it's a nice option because you could front mount this onto your fly onto your firewall, um, and then if you've got a prop adapter, then you don't need any of that. Whereas this one comes with it um, and it had, this one also has a nice it's nice if you want to reverse mount it because you've just got some hex grub screws in there and on the there and I think you'll be able to probably push the shaft through and be able to mount it that way take the collet off and put it on that end push it all the way through and then you can also mount this on the firewall facing inside the model or outside the model that way um, so all in all that's not bad um, quality this one has a 4 mil shaft as opposed to a 3 mil shaft um, so you know quite a bit stronger on this one um, this one claims that it can produce uh, 800 grams of thrust for only 13 amps of current draw um, using an 8x43 I will do a bench test um, and I'll probably bench test it up to an 8x6 um, to try and get closer probably to 950 grams of thrust possibly a kilogram of thrust for try and get it up to the 18 amps get it up to the maximum because drawing 18 amps on the bench with any given prop um, is although it's it's rated maximum current capacity um, when you actually fly the propeller will unload in air and it won't draw as many amps um, and also when you do a bench test um, or when I do a bench test it will it's always with a fully charged battery and after a, a minute or so the battery will be drawing less current because the voltage will drop and therefore the motor will be safe so those two things combined is the, the voltage drop over a short period of time 
um, plus the unloading in air. If you can draw 18 amps on the bench, then this thing will be fine when flying. You won't be drawing 18 amps when flying. So it should be plenty safe enough. Um, I would always advise that draw the maximum on the bench um, on your test, and then you know you're going to be perfectly safe when flying. Um, this one reckons it could, uh, it, this turns at 8 by 6 at 13 amps. Um, so I'm not sure why, considering it's a 220 kV, so it should be the same RPM. It's claiming that it's more efficient. It can turn an 8 by 6 at 13 amps. Thrust unknown, I would assume that an 8 by 6 would at 13 amps on this would be producing more thrust than this one. Even though this one's a heavier motor at 66 grams, and this is only 56.7. Uh, um, so, I think 57.6, sorry. Um, but, you know, uh, in the overall weight of the model, 10 grams isn't a huge amount of difference. Um, these will be tested, these are being tested for my Bixler. As you might have already seen, I've already tested the Turnergy 28, 26, 220 kV, um, but I'm looking at a more efficient way of getting the power rather than raw power. Um, so, next thing to do is to get these on my bench, strap a prop to them, and we'll go test. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so here we have the Turnergy Park 450. Um, I've now mounted it 1200 kV. Now mounted it with an 8x6 EMP prop. I've uh, got it on a 3 cell LiPo. Um, I had an 8x3.8 before and pulled about 800 grams of thrust for about 13.9 amps. So I'm trying to get to about 18, 18 and a half amps, which will get it to the its maximum current draw. And let's see what this one produces now, shall we? So let's take her up. Okay, now for the NTM 2826 1200 kV. Now, I'm not expecting this is a three to four cell motor, um, and I've only got enough clearance for an eight inch prop. So, this is an eight by six. Um, I haven't got an eight eight, but I'm not expecting too much um, from this one really because I think it would work best probably with a nine by six on three cells. Or need a four cell to make this one. It's a 250 watt motor, so here we go. Let's have a look, see what we get. Okay, yeah, as expected, it's not pushing the motor to the limit. This prop on this um, this battery pack, uh, probably need a 4S pack to really get the most out of an 8x6. Um, 
I'll try it with a 9 by 6 but I can't use it on the Bixler. Um, but I'll try it with a 9 by 6 to try and see what sort of thrust we can get this working out maximum for all you guys that aren't going to put it on a Bixler and you've got more room for a bigger prop. Okay, now mounted with a 9 by 6 Let's have a look, see what we get now. Okay.